This episode of Soldier Knows Best is brought to you by Ting. Hey, what's up guys? Soldier Knows Best here with an unboxing of the brand new, just released and just announced next generation MacBook Pro with the Retina display. And this version is going to be running the 2.3 gigahertz quad-core Intel i7 processor, 16 gigabytes of RAM, 256 gigabytes of flash storage, and it's also going to be running the uh, graphics-wise, the NVIDIA GeForce GT 650 mobile with 1 gigabyte of GDDR5 memory so anyway guys it's going to jump right into the unboxing of this thing and uh so this is the next generation macbook pro what apple is calling it um so i'm gonna go ahead and start slicing into the plastic and this definitely stole the show at the wwdc keynote which apple held earlier this week again when they announced this and announced mac os 10 mount line ios 6 all that good stuff so this thing is only 0.71 inches thick, so it is not that thick at all. And it's barely, I mean, it's actually thinner than the MacBook Air in, in, at, at certain points, but um, overall it's not as thin as the MacBook Air though. So anyway, um, let's go ahead and take the top off, and here is the beast of itself. Here's the star of the show. But we're gonna pull this little tab up, and we're gonna set this to the side just for now. I miss you already, baby. Alrighty, so I already have the uh, different instruction manuals, and we should have some Apple stickers in here. Hello. To let you know, if you never use a Mac before, you'll be getting to all this stuff here. Got a little cleaning cloth, I believe, at the bottom. Yep, a little cleaning cloth for that. And we just have the power cord, which is the new MagSafe, I believe, two adapter. That's what they're calling it, right in there. So if you have any of the older uh, MagSafe adapters, they will not work with this MacBook Pro. So that will suck in case you know you had you know other ones laying around, or you had one that you travel with, and things like that. Um, and yeah, that's it. <laughs> All right, so they set the box to the side, and let's get to the star of the show, like I always call it. All right, we're gonna take this plastic off of here. And I can just tell you, just by me holding it right here with one hand, um, it, it is considerably lighter than the previous generation MacBook Pro. I mean, it's not it definitely not as light as the MacBook Air, but it's something that, again, I wouldn't mind carrying around. That's the main reason why I got this. So just take a look at the thinness of this thing. Just look a look from the front. And then we take a look at the side here. Um, it has dual Thunderbolt ports. Focus, focus, focus. And uh, it does have USB 3.0 headphone jack. Uh, That's where the power cord would go. And also, too, we do have a um, SD card slot and HDMI out, finally. And also, USB, another USB 3.0 uh, port right there as well. And let me do a quick little comparison here between the 13 inch MacBook Air versus this 15 inch MacBook Pro. As you can see there, there's a look at the thinness from the front. You take a look at it from the side. That's where you can really see how thin this, this MacBook Pro is. I mean, as you can tell, it's not that much thicker. I mean, once you get towards the bottom, of course, the air uh, does, you know, you know, thin out. But the MacBook Pro is extremely uh, close to this MacBook Air as far as thinness all the way around. So we're going to go ahead and open up this thing for the first time. Aww. All right, so we have the speaker grills here um, and the keyboard, backlit keyboard, multi-touch trackpad, nothing else new there. And let me go ahead and, oh, I wanted to do that specially. Well, not specially, but special. <laughs> so anyway, there it is. Here is the retina display screen. And I'm going to see if I can uh, turn this thing on, see if it has any juice in it. There it is. All right, so this is the Retina display screen, which again is falling along the same lines of the iPhone and the iPod touches and the iPads. Um, now they have these Retina displays, and I went to the Apple store and actually take, took a look at this, and thing, this thing just really looked amazing. All right, so anyway, guys, this is my unboxing of the next generation MacBook Pro. I got to download all these software updates and all of that stuff for this thing to get this thing up and running. So stay tuned for more videos talking about this. But before we head out of here, it's going to take one last look at our sponsor for this video. And today's sponsor is Ting, which is the cell phone service I know a lot of you guys and gals out there have been waiting for. It's where they build the messages, they build the minutes, and also they build the megabytes all separately. It's really just no BS. That's the, really their model. There is no BS at all. So if you use more minutes than what you are actually planning on to that month, they just adjust it next month. There's no penalties, no overage fees, nothing like that. And if you use less, they automatically prorate all that stuff and roll it over to the next month if you need it. In addition to these great plans, there are no contracts at all. They offer Android smartphones just like the Samsung Galaxy S2 
and they even offer 4G hotspots. And the one thing that I do like about this service is that there's no wait and no automated service. If you need to call them for any questions or any problems you have, a human picks up the phone right away. You have no wait at all. I just really love that part of it. So anyway, you can go to soldiernosbest.ting.com and try out their online savings calculator to see how much money you'll save by switching over to them. And also you'll save an extra $50 off of your next handset if you do decide to go with Ting. So that's a very nice price just for my Soldier Knows Best viewers. So anyway, guys, that is a look at Ting. Definitely check them out. The link is down below. All right, guys, again, thanks for watching this video. Please leave a comment down below. But what are your thoughts about this next generation MacBook Pro? Is this something that you would pick up or are you just going to stick with your air? Leave a comment down below. And thanks for watching, guys, and I will catch you later. Peace.